If you were to try and imagine some of the deadliest animals on this planet, you might think of apex predators such as big cats, sharks and crocodilians. Although these creatures are very impressive predators and kill a lot of prey animals, they kill a relatively small amount of humans. In most cases, the deadliest animals to humans are small inconspicuous insects and animals that we come across in our day-to-day -day lives. In this video, I will be going through the animals that are responsible for the most human deaths as I will be going through 10 of the deadliest animals to humans. Now our first group of animals can be found pretty much anywhere around the world, and they've gained quite a big reputation. Tapeworms are a group of parasitic worms, and these worms infect a wide range of animals. These tapeworms of course start off very small, but they grow inside their host and can reach a maximum size of around 25 meters. There are quite a few ways in which a tapeworm can enter your body, but poor sanitation and uncooked meat are some of the more common ways to get an infection. Some of the symptoms of a tapeworm infection are nausea, weakness, diarrhea and abdominal pain. And if left untreated, a tapeworm infection can become deadly. Although most tapeworms will live in your intestines, they can migrate to other parts of the body. They can cause damage to the liver, eyes, heart and brain. And these infections can be life-threatening. It's thought that tapeworms are responsible for around 2,000 human deaths each year, and that puts them at a solid number 10 on this list. But now we'll move from one deadly parasite to another, as our next creatures are the Ascaris roundworms. Ascaris is a genus of parasitic nematode worms, and these worms sometimes go by the name of small intestinal roundworms. Each member in this genus ranges in size and deadliness, and different worms target different species. One species typically infects pigs, and one likes to target humans. To get infected with this worm, you first have to eat their eggs, and this can happen when hands or fingers are contaminated with dirt, and then are put in the mouth. One species of roundworm in the Ascaris genus is known to cause ascariasis in humans, and this is a potentially fatal disease. At first you may experience symptoms such as abdominal pain, bloating and nausea, but if left untreated it can cause internal bleeding and even sudden death. The Ascaris roundworms are only slightly more deadly than the tapeworms, as they kill around 2,500 people per year, and that puts them at number 9 on this list. But now we will be moving away from the parasites for a little while, as our next group of animals are the scorpions. Scorpions are a very iconic group of arthropods, and their evolutionary history dates back 435 million years. They are mostly found in deserts, but they have adapted to a wide range of environmental conditions and climates, but they are absent from large parts of the northern hemisphere. There are around 2,500 species of scorpion alive today, and these species are split into 22 different families. For the most part, scorpions feed on insects and other invertebrates, but some of the larger, more impressive species will hunt larger vertebrates. Scorpions will not go out of their way to attack humans, and the vast majority of stings are defensive stings. As scorpions are often masters of camouflage, it can be very easy to accidentally step or sit on one. If you do this, the scorpion will almost certainly sting you, and some of these stings can be fatal. There's usually quite a simple trick to see how deadly a scorpion is, and that's by looking at the size of their pincers. If they have very large pincers, they usually have a very weak sting, and if they have very small pincers, they usually have a very deadly sting. This is because if they have a very toxic venom, they rarely need to use their pincers, whereas scorpions that have a very mild venom have to rely on their pincers more often. Some of the more deadly species of scorpion are the Death Stalker and the Arabian Fat-tailed Scorpion, and these scorpions have been responsible for quite a few fatalities over the years. Despite this, most scorpion stings are not life-threatening, and scorpions are responsible for around 3,250 human deaths each year, and this puts them at number 8 on this list. For our next group of animals, we will be heading into the world's freshwaters, as we have the freshwater snails. There are many different families of freshwater snails, and once again these snails can be found all over the world. They can be found in a wide range of habitats from large lakes to fast moving rivers, and freshwater snails are quite popular in the aquarium trade. These snails aren't a danger to humans directly, as most species feed on algae or detritus. However, these seemingly harmless gastropods are responsible for a significant number of human deaths each year, and this is because they're carriers of a parasitic disease. Bilharzia is a disease caused by parasitic worms, and freshwater snails are known to transmit these worms. Bilharzia infects 250 million people worldwide, and this is mainly in Asia, Africa, and South America. Humans can get infected when they come into contact with contaminated water, and this can be any freshwater source that the snails have been in. 
The long-term effects of bilharzia are liver damage, kidney failure, infertility and bladder cancer. But of course, not all bilharzia infections are caused by freshwater snails. It's thought that freshwater snails are responsible for at least 10,000 human deaths each year, and that slots them in at number 7 on this list. But for our next group of creatures, we will be looking at the insect world, as we have the assassin bugs. Assassin bugs are called so because they are very impressive ambush predators, but not all of them feed in the same way. Assassin bug doesn't refer to one species, but instead it refers to a large cosmopolitan family. These bugs usually wait for their prey to come to them, and then it will impale its prey with its rostrum. It will then inject its venom-laced saliva, and this both paralyzes the victim and liquefies their internal organs. Most assassin bugs pose no threat to humans, but some species are blood feeders. If you are bitten by one of the blood-sucking assassin bugs, complications can arise that lead to Chagas disease. Chagas disease is a tropical parasitic disease, and it is most commonly spread by assassin bugs. The early stage symptoms are often very mild, but up to 45% of people with chronic infections develop heart disease 10 to 30 years after the initial illness. This can eventually lead to heart failure, and this disease claims the lives of thousands of people each year. It's thought that assassin bugs are responsible for at least 11,000 human deaths each year, and that puts them at number 6 on this list. Before our next group of creatures, we will be heading over to Africa, as we have the tsetse flies. Tsetse flies are large biting flies, and they inhabit much of tropical Africa. They survive by feeding on the blood of vertebrate animals, and this of course includes humans. They are found over much of central sub-Saharan Africa, and they have been extensively studied as they spread sleeping sickness. Once a tsetse fly infects you with sleeping sickness, your health can deteriorate rapidly. At first it causes fever, chills and pain in the limbs, but eventually it affects the nervous system, causing extreme lethargy and death. This is how it's got the common name of sleeping sickness, and infections from this fly are thought to cause around 12,000 human deaths each year, and that slots them in at number 5 on this list. Next up we have one of the more familiar animals on this list, as we will be taking a look at the domesticated dog. Now dogs are domesticated descendants of wolves, and the modern wolf is the dog's nearest living relative. Dogs were among the first animals to be domesticated, and it first started happening around 15,000 years ago. Since then we have moulded them into many different shapes and sizes, and they are viewed differently all over the world. In some areas they're viewed as a friend and part of the family, whereas in other areas they're viewed as a work animal or as a tool. Unfortunately, there are quite a few stray dogs around the world, and these stray dogs have a massive negative impact on the ecosystem by both hunting native species and spreading diseases. As well as this, captive and stray dogs are known to attack humans, and these attacks can sometimes prove fatal. One of the worst affected areas when it comes to dog attacks is India, as India has some 30 million stray dogs. If you happen to be attacked by a dog and you don't die initially, you can still die from a rabies infection. Rabies is almost always fatal once symptoms appear, and it is a massive problem in India. In 2015, India accounted for 35% of human rabies deaths, and the majority of these infections were from stray dog bites. Globally, it's thought that dogs are responsible for at least 25,000 human deaths a year, and that slots them in at number 4 on this list. Our next group of animals are possibly the most infamous group of reptiles on this planet, and they are, of course, the snakes. Snakes are some of the more hated animals on this planet, but in most cases this hate is unwarranted. Snakes play an important role in their ecosystem, and without them certain ecosystems would collapse. If you leave snakes alone, in most cases they will leave you alone, and the vast majority of bites are in self-defense. There are around 3,000 species of snake worldwide, and only around 10-15% to of these snakes are venomous. Most of these venomous snakes do not have a venom that's potent enough to kill a human, and even if you are bitten by a deadly snake, it doesn't mean that it's game over. Snake anti-venom has been around since 1895, and once administered, it can save someone from certain death. This is why there's a relatively small amount of snake-related deaths in Australia, because in Australia, snake anti-venom is quite easy to get a hold of. Usually the deadliest snakes are not the snakes with the most toxic venom, but they are the snakes that are more likely to bite, and that are found in areas without access to anti-venom. Globally, it's thought that snakes are responsible for at least 50,000 human deaths each year, and that puts them in at number 3 on this list. Now usually I don't like including humans in these videos, as I like to focus more on wildlife and the wild world. However, this video is about animals that are deadly to humans, and humans are quite deadly to humans. 
There are quite a few different reasons and ways that humans kill other humans around the world, but some of these include war, crime, and accidental killings. Of course, certain countries are safer than others, and some of the more safer countries are Iceland, New Zealand, and Ireland. On the other hand, some of the countries with the highest murder rates are Jamaica, Honduras, and South Africa, and India has some of the most dangerous roads in the world. So it turns out that humans don't just destroy animals and the planet, but we're also very good at destroying each other. It's thought that humans are responsible for at least 475,000 human deaths a year, and this puts humans at number two on this list. But to be honest, it isn't even close. I'm sure many of you can guess which animal is coming next, and it is of course the mosquito. There are around 3,600 species of mosquito, and a large number of these species are parasitic. They lay their eggs in stagnant water where their larvae develop, and eventually they leave the water and become airborne. They will feed on mammals, birds, reptiles, and amphibians, and they're known to spread diseases to all of these animals. Some of the worst parasitic diseases that are spread by mosquitoes are malaria, yellow fever, chikungunya, West Nile, dengue fever, and Zika. By transmitting these diseases, mosquitoes cause more human deaths than any other animal, and they're thought to be responsible for at least a million human deaths a year, which puts them at a very solid number one on this list. And they really are the deadliest animal to a human. If you think you know of any other animals that could have made it on this list, then let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.